makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I'm excited for this video because I'm going to be talking about all the new makeup releases and sneak peeks and everything from the past week and my opinions on them. So let's just go ahead and jump right on in. Okay, so the first release that I have to talk about today is from Colored Rain and it is the Vivid Pigments and Shadows. And I was definitely stalking their page trying to see what this palette was going to be and it turns out that it's going to be 16 individual shadows which you can buy as a bundle, you can buy the palette separately, or you can buy um, each shade like as a single shadow so I'm not sure how I feel about it I've got like mixed feelings but um I'm not mad at it I like the colors I feel like if I were to take this palette I would arrange it a little bit differently which obviously you can because it's single shadows I hate when people take like all different colors and it looks like they just like threw it in a palette and it doesn't quite make sense to me I'm like I wish that like the colors that were similar were next to each other so you can really see the gradient and really see what the palette could be. I don't know, I just like the way that I think I don't like it all jumbled together. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick it up or not. I can't decide right now. I'm Like I said, I definitely have mixed feelings. So we'll see. I'm, I'm not sure. So the next little sneak peek is from Give Me Glow Cosmetics, which I really wanted to try more from them, but I feel like, again, nothing has really like drawn me in, even though they do, um, I think... They have like a limited amount, but they have been doing quads where you can choose four shades from all of their eyeshadows, and I'm definitely tempted to do that. But they posted a sneak peek, and they're going to have a grunge palette coming soon. Um, so I'm really curious what this is going to end up being. If it's like like gray and dark purples and like lilacs, I don't know. Something about that is super grungy to me, and I think that'd be super, super cool. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but I'm excited. I'm anticipating it. And then another sneak peek, which I kind of saw the reveal of the palette. Um, hopefully by the time that I'm posting this video and editing it, I'll have a better picture. But Suva Beauty is coming out with a new palette. They did a little sneak peek and they showed a teal and an orange. Luckily, one of the people that I follow on Instagram, Test Effects, posted the entire palette. And it's really beautiful. I like the color scheme. Um, I'm definitely interested in it. I feel like... I don't know, I feel like between like the peach and the yellow and the teal and the dark purple, I don't know, I'm getting subculture vibes, which I really like the Anastasia subculture colors, but the quality wasn't that great, so I returned mine. So I don't know, I'm here for this. I'm excited to see more. Okay, so another release that I'm super excited about, Ace Beauty is doing like four different palettes, and at this point they have revealed three of them. Maybe by the time I'm editing this, I can put all four. But they have revealed the Blossom Passion Palette, which is super, super pretty. It's like like pinky red tones, and I really, really like that one. And then they revealed another palette, and it is the Slice of Paradise. And again, super, super beautiful. And they said that they are going to be available for purchase next week. And they're going to have a full bundle, so I'm tempted to get the bundle because I've never tried Ace Beauty before. And I love trying new brands, so I'm curious. And then also, they... Here, let me find... I. Oh, I thought I saved the third one. Let me go. Let me go find the third one so I can show you guys what it looks like. Okay. So the last one is not my jam quite as much. I like it. It's a really pretty neutral palette. It kind of reminds me of the new one that Kylie Cosmetics just came out with. Just a little bit. Mm, I if I feel like if the bundle's a really good deal, I'll get it, but it's not a palette that I would purchase individually. Okay, so Smashbox did a little sneak peek. They're going to be doing another cover shop palette, and this one's super colorful. And I really don't like this, and I have two reasons. One is because it is completely metallic, and that's fine. Like, I don't have a problem pulling in, like, a matte palette or, like, doing... Like, I don't have a problem using other palettes in conjunction, but I just feel like at the pri price point for, like, $30, like, I'm just... I don't know, I just don't see myself purchasing it, and the colors aren't that unique. There's only, I like the yellow, I like the green, blue, and the two pinks, but there's three shades that I don't like. So, this is my other nitpick, and I've actually been thinking about doing an unpopular makeup opinions, like my, like my own unpopular opinions. And one of them is, I don't understand why almost every single palette ever has to have a gold. This has a gold and a copper, and I'm just like, I just don't get it, like, I used to like gold when I was younger and that like I only put gold on my lid but now I'm just like I don't know it, it doesn't do anything for me and I feel like I have so many of them it's ridiculous so that's just a little great for me I definitely won't be picking that palette up 
Okay, so another sneak peek that I'm excited about, Black Moon Cosmetics posted this and said, if you love the Orb of Light palette, just wait until you see our next one. So I'm very, very curious to see what it's going to be. I really want to try the brand. I haven't tried anything from them. And I'm hoping that it's a really interesting palette. So I definitely have my eyes open for that. Okay, so another exciting release. Wet n Wild is coming out with their Zodiac collection. And I'm very excited for this. So they have a loose highlighter. And it looks like a super shiny pink shade. And I like their original loose highlighter that they came out with. The Goth Tears collection. Is that what it was called? Something along those lines. So I'm definitely interested to try that out. And then they have four other highlighters. Which are all based off of like the different um, signs. If you're... Uh, earth water geez i should know this air there's one more does it tell me fire fire okay i am personally earth and i think that they all look super super pretty especially water like all the different blue tones so i'm definitely interested in those parts of the collection but i think that the eyeshadow palettes i just don't really like eyeshadow um when it's all like together like in one compact and there's nothing dividing um, it's just not my style. And then the lip glosses look nice. I'm curious to see which one is Taurus because I might just buy that one just because I am one. So I'm definitely excited for it and I'm always happy to see like new, new collections that are affordable. I also wanted to mention that Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with a ton of new products, a ton of sneak peeks, and she's coming out with a new magic setting powder, um, the magic concealer, which is cool. It's always exciting to see someone expand their line, but I feel like they're going to be hella expensive but I will say as far as the shade range goes for the concealer I'm impressed with the lightest shade it does look super super fair and I think I'd be able to use it but I feel like the dark shades like the darkest shade is not that dark um especially like it it might look a little bit dark but it's being swatched on a very light skin person so I just feel like I don't know I think that there definitely needs to be more shades for darker skin tones here and then they're also coming out with the Pillow Talk collection, which I think is a really great idea. I've always wanted to try that lipstick. I think the blush looks pretty, but the eyeshadow quad, it looks nice if you like neutrals and you just wanted one like luxurious eyeshadow thing. I think that could be nice. And then there's also going to be the TARS in your eyes palette, which sounds a little bit weird. And I think that's for holiday 2018. It does look super, super nice. Oh, it's stars in your eyes. Oh, <laughs> I meant the S was cropped out of that picture okay geez and then there's also some other quads which are all okay but they don't really like speak to me so Zoeva Cosmetics is coming out the new palette and it's going to be called the ICI palette and it looks nice I don't think it's something I'm personally going to pick up but I do appreciate the fact that it is a little bit different I like the different tones in it I like that it kind of has some pops of colors and it's like a good mix I think that the packaging is really pretty too so I think that's a nice, nice thing to try. I haven't tried anything from Zoeva um, as far as like their actual makeup goes. I do have a bunch of brushes from them, but I feel like I do like the palette, but their shipping to get to the U.S. is like $20. So I'd have to have a bunch of things I wanted from them to like make the order worth it. So I'm definitely... And then next, something else I'm excited about. I love Zoe. Um, She is doing a collection and she was kind of like leaving the like blank, like who is it with? You know just letting us guess for the day and I had two guesses and they were Colourpop or Dose of Colors and she confirmed in her comments that it was not Colourpop so I was like Dose of Colors especially like the video that just would it made me feel like that it kind of reminded me of Desi Kim's Katie when you were like trying to guess who they were collabing with so I had a really good feeling that it was Dose of Colors and they actually just um, announced that it is Dose of Colors and it looks super nice um, there are six different lippies and there's four liquid lipsticks and then two lip glosses and I really like the packaging and the um, Ooh, there's ooh, there's two highlighters and they're super pretty as well Okay, and then there's also a eyeshadow palette the palette reminds me of everything else that's going on right now like all the other eyeshadow palettes it's a warm neutral palette with a pop of blue but I really do like dose of colors formula so I'm definitely curious about it and I don't know it looks really nice actually I'm super curious to see if the eyeshadow palette has the new um, formula in it the block party eyeshadows because that's what it kind of looks like so if it is that then it might be worth it to buy the palette so I'm very excited about this. I think I probably will be picking up a bunch from the collection just because I have a soft spot for Dose of Colors. 
and everything looks super super nice so if you guys want a video on that definitely let me know and then let's see another collection that came out pure did the celebrate your selfie sweet 16 collection and i think that this is cute it's definitely not targeted at me or probably like it's obviously targeted at teenagers but i do think that the packaging is super cute like on the um eyeshadow palette the whole like it basically has the same thing as a eye sh or sorry a phone case you know with the you know you can turn it and it has a different glitter moving around and i didn't get a picture of it because it was in video but the eyeshadows are actually formed as a 16 so i feel like if you know someone who's turning 16 that would be a super super cute gift and the eyeshadows look really really nice especially for someone who's 16 and then i wanted to mention i saw this on trend mood um that the pat mcgrath labs lip balms are now available and i is it just i don't it maybe it's just me but i cannot even imagine paying $38 for a lip balm like like this one clear is just described as clear subtle sheen like $38 for a clear lip balm like that's just crazy to me so that's definitely a pass for me okay so another thing that I'm definitely not getting from over cosmetics they revealed their tropical punch palette and you guys this is literally all neutrals with a pop of blue and a pop of yellow like that is not tropical punch that's literally like a tropical flick like literally just like the tiniest little bit of something different and i don't know these palettes are normally like 70 dollars, and i do like their highlighter formula but i just i don't need it i don't need it and i'm not sure if it's a collab with kristen dominique or if she's just there or what i don't know the story behind it but i just feel like who named that i just want to know i just want to talk so i think that's everything i had to talk about this week i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye